Myself, uh, Dr. Vinay Shumurthy, working in the Karnataka Forest Department as a Chief Veterinary Officer in Wildlife Division, Shumaga District, Karnataka. We were in actually the human elephant conflict, uh, capturing operation of uh, the wild tusk. Uh, during this operation, uh, I was uh, uh, attacked by the wild elephant. After this attack of the elephant, uh, I was uh, shifted to the private hospital in Shumaga city. There I uh, underwent treatment for internal bleeding. On 12th night, 9.30 p.m., the ICAT team came uh, to Shumaga as it was guided by my brother, uh, Dr. Pramod Chidhar. The ICAT team met our family. They explained about uh, the ECMO uh, installation. On 12th uh, midnight, they started uh, installation of this ECMO in private hospital in Shumaga itself. Next day on 13th April 2023, I was shifted from private hospital to here Manipal Bangalore Hospital. This patient was a typical example of a complex critically ill multi-trauma was provided end-to-end -end care which needed high-end, talented, skilled, expert intensive care services, a complex uh, high-end equipment a military precision kind of protocol uh, compliance and most importantly high level of coordination. Immediately the CT scan was took and uh, with the ECMO machine I was shifted to uh, MICU. After three days I got uh, conscious. There I was under ventilation uh, with ECMO machine. There in MICU a very good treatment with a team of uh, critical intensive care unit. The ECMO machine is a specialized machine which uh, helps in uh, giving rest to the lungs. We, what we do is we bypass the blood flow uh, from the whole body and then uh, oxygenation uh, is done from the external source and then uh, it is filtered back into the body. In ideal scenario, we would have initiated him on prone ventilation, but we were not sure about the neurovascular injuries, uh, brachial plexus injuries. So uh, ideal scenario would have been a safest transfer which was facilitated by extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. Over time, as patient condition stabilizes, we slowly wean him off ECMO support, which is crucial and very challenging. During this process, he, re he required a specialized procedure called tracheostomy. And with the multidisciplinary effort from the pain team and our team, we had to give him regional as well as systemic analgesia to help him uh, breathe better secondary to the pain relief. And from there I was shifted to 8th floor where uh, the pulmonologist Dr. Satyanarayan, uh, Dr. Naveen Matthew and uh, Dr. Dheeraj was uh, taken care of me. Treatment and his approach was uh, made me very successful to this stage of my health. I was able to do a bronchoscopy and remove the blood clots. Fortunately, over weeks and weeks with good care, rehab, uh, medical management, physiotherapy, nutrition, care of his airway, he has managed to recover well. We received Dr. Vinay when he was shifted out of uh, MICU to the high dependency unit. At that time, he was still on a mini ventilator. He was on a tracheostomy with the oxygen support. So over a period of next three, four weeks, we were able to gradually wean him off mini ventilator, off oxygen, and slowly we were able to downsize the tracheostomy and uh, decandidate the tracheostomy. Meanwhile, we also started him on intensive rehabilitation program, which include physiotherapy, occupational therapy, speech, and solar therapy. In physiotherapy section, uh, Madan, who really, in all way, uh, to say, I mean, making me to move by holding me for a uh, period of one, two minutes in the beginning. And from there he started uh, physical exercise of legs, uh, neck region, shoulder. Like this, he started uh, giving my physical activities. Dr. Vinay, he had a right hemothorax and left pneumothorax. And he had a hypercapnia. He had a lot of consolidation on the lower legs. My primary goals, one is to airway clearance and one, another one is to make the patient independent. So for the airway clearance, I gave firstly breathing and diaphragmatic breathing. Firstly breathing helps to reduce or decrease the 
hypercapnia so carbon dioxide level you can reduce in the lungs so that one thing and second one is after weaning from the ventilator so i started incentive spirometer so that is to improve the lung volumes before he was walked with two person support now he can walk without support independently he was uh, able to move on treadmill and uh, able to walk on myself for almost for 1200 steps in the morning as well as in the evening and uh, able to move my hand freely totally i am free i mean compared to my earlier days of pain at the back at the chest region and all treatment was very successful for me i am very much satisfied once his tracheostomy was removed he was able to speak he was able to breathe at this moment when he is about to be discharged he is as healthy as a normal person we are absolutely happy that he is getting back to his work i appreciate and salute his uh, dedication to the work one of our long list of uh, successfully treated complex critically ill patient who completely recovered not only to survive but made a full complete recovery we at the department of critical care medicine at old airport road manipal hospital for more than a quarter of a century have been able to provide this degree of high level of intensive care unit and are proud to say that we have numerous patients who have survived completely to go back home to live a lead a completely normal life i uh, thank the physiotherapist here in the section especially the madan who is so uh, motherly touch service he was giving for me and uh, ultimately i must thank all the doctors who were involved in my treatment i especially uh, i want to express my heartfelt uh, thanks to them and also the hospitality in this uh, manipal bangalore hospital is highly appreciable